Okay, so now that we have uh, we have a flow field class inside of our component, and um, uh, so we can write a steering behavior that follows the flow field. And um, first off, I'm going to uh, make this larger so our um, Our vehicles have enough room to move around in or have a little bit more room and so I want to change uh, the mover bounds. The lower bounds I want to set to zero and then the upper bounds I want to set uh, to 200. And so we need to change the scale of our flow field. Um, we don't need this anymore, our target mover. So let's change the scale to 220. Test, it's working. Uh, and let's go ahead and write the follow flow field. So def, we want to follow flow field. And just like our other components, um, we want to calculate the desired or we want to find the desired and our desired is just going to be the vector we get when we look up inside of our flow field because we pass in a vector to look up and we want self.vec So let's go ahead and calculate and apply that. Um, self dot calc and apply steer from desired. We don't we just want to pass in desired. Okay, and so we just need to vehicle follow flow field and we need to pass in the flow field and it's the flow field that we create right there. A vehicle has no attribute vec in 287. Self dot position. A global name desired. Oh we don't pass in we just passed in B for this vector right here. Um, index out of range. Okay, I forgot to uh, do this. Um, okay, so when we reach the upper bounds of our box and we go over it, what inside of. Um, okay. First off, I want to switch uh, the bouncing environment to the asteroid environment. And uh, so when we're outside of this box, uh, what we what happens is we change from uh, we change the position to the other side. And so when we set it to upper bounds, we're and then when we divide it, we're actually getting ten we're getting one more than we have a grid value for. So if we're, um, I'm going to try that to say that more simply, uh, more clearly. So if we're over here, uh, the value that we get when we look up is going to be one more than we have uh, a value for inside of our grid component. So in the x direction, if we're over here, we're going to say, like, we're going to look try to look up for position 10, but we don't have a 10 inside of that um, list, list, so it's going to bug out. So basically what we need to do is set, um, when we go beyond the lower bounds, we need to set the upper bounds to just a little bit below. 
uh, what it is. So 0 0.01 will work. And um, I think it would work without doing this for the lower bounds, but let's just do it anyway. Okay. So um, it's working. Let's just uh, add some gravity so it doesn't stay in one layer. Uh, vehicle dot apply force and zero zero negative. Let's just do 0.25 and look at it and see what happens. Vehicle. Put that extra print on there. Okay, it's not moving very quickly in the Z direction. And um, it's working, uh, but it doesn't look very good right now, I don't think. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, do a vector constraint. It looks like it slowed it up a little bit. And I'm going to actually cut that in half again. I'm going to, I'm just going to cut this in half and maybe see what that looks like. And I'm going to give it a higher resolution. Okay. Um, I am going to play with this a little bit more and try to get something clear to, to show.